Hello Flockers! How are you? Today is Monday, September 17th, 2018. And I am back with some happy mail. I have some China mail here. And they are, um, they are actually diamond paintings. So let's get them open and let's take a look and see what we have. I have two orders from two different companies on uh, from AliExpress so I'm trying to um, I don't know which which company this is okay so let's let's go to the overhead and we will open this package and we will find out what company sent this there are three paintings in it So I'm not sure which which it is. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh boy. Okay, I believe that this is from Huacan. And it is um, there. It's a nice, a nice kit. Um, I don't see any. Um, yeah, I don't see any multiple heads on these. So maybe it's not who a who a can. Uh, let's open one of them up. And see. Now there's no name on the pliers. I don't remember who sent me what, but here are the beads, and it has um, it has inventory sheets, and these are uh, this one is a feather, and this these two are chickens. This is just one rooster, and this is a nice like watercolor scene here. Um, the inventory sheets are checked off, so that leads me to believe that everything should be here. These are square drills. So let's take a look. We'll start with this one here. Tape off. Okay, there's foam core in here. That's nice. And let me move all of these out of the way. Okay, now I do see ripples on the canvas, and I know that that can be an issue. The double-sided tape has lifted in some areas, uh, but when you when you pull back this release paper. See how it's laying flat now? This side is no longer trying to curl up. This happens with this release paper, not with the clear like I had on the Peacock. The release paper seems to be able to control the, the canvas better and now it will lay flat. Okay. So I can feel the ripples on the canvas but I think if I just give it a good rub down maybe that will fix itself so I can feel them here so 
So we'll see if that fixes it. If not, it's really not that big of a deal. Now I'm actually on AliExpress. So let me quickly go into, um, let me quickly go into my orders and I will see um, where these came from. Orders. Okay, these are from Sophie Beauty Official Store. So that is who sent these. So that's why I don't have um, that's why I don't have the multiplacers. So those will have to wait until I get the items from Huacan. I've got I have a Buddha head coming from Yogo Top, and I have some Christmas presents for um, two young ladies coming, and they're coming from Drill Shiny 007 store. And then I've got um, another Christmas gift for um, another friend. And that's coming from Huacan along with a stunning, stunning, stunning image of the Smoky Mountains with rhododendron in the foreground all in flower. So I'm eager, eager, eager to see those. I think they may be coming um, tomorrow. I know I've got something else being delivered tomorrow. So let's get back to this. Now, I have been rubbing this. So most, and I can still see creases here. So let's see if that fixed the problems. Nope, it did not. I'm going to try burnishing a wee bit. We'll see if that helps. That is helping. Okay. But I will worry about th that later on. Let's see which one we're dealing with this time. This one is, yeah, I can tell this is not who it can. The symbols are kind of, kind of iffy. But this one I will take you over to my desktop and I will show you the image. I believe it is this lovely one here, desktop. So this is the one right here. And it is a 40 by 30. And it does come with the DMC numbers in the legend. So that's good. Yeah, this canvas really has a lot of bubbles in the... Uh, in, in the tape. Oopsie. Okay. So that is this one here. And then the other two that I've got are, let's see, I got this feather, this one right here. Let's see. I got this feather. And then this is the last one that I got. And I just think he's so gorgeous. Really, really pretty. So let's go back to the kits here and I'm going to try something else. my mouse out of the way.
I'm really hoping this won't be a problem. Yeah, I think if I keep working on it, I can see a bubble right here. Let's see. See another bubble and another. Really hoping this doesn't turn out to be a bad canvas. See if that helped any. Yes. Yes, that is starting to help. Here's another section here. And sometimes I can still I can still feel bubbles under here. So sometimes what you have to do is you have to take a little bit of a razor blade and just kind of pop those bubbles. And once you pop them, the air will come out. Now it feels smooth. Yeah. So I'll have to continue working on this. Let's see if I can show you the, the whole thing without exposing too much of it. Um, I'm going to try adding another light here and see if it helps. Might be too much. We don't know yet. I see a rooster tail here. And I see the hen here. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six or seven chicks there are. And this is a 40 by 30. There are... Uh, there's a whole pile of numbers here. They don't tell you how many colors are in it. But, let's see if the inventory sheet has, has it. I'm so excited about these. I don't know which one I want to start with first. There are 36 colors here. Now, that's curious. There should be four bags of number 19. Let's see. Oh, I see what happened. See, there's a little... If the person noticed that 823 was missing and that there should have been four bags and they included um, they included a small excuse you Rosie sorry my dog just belched <laughs> sorry um, they included a separate little bag uh, a Ziploc bag of all the ones that I should need so that's good so I don't see any rogue beads floating about. Let's see if we can't put them in, in some kind of order. That's 159.
one is a small one. This one is going to be um, the leaf, uh, not the leaf, the feather. And that'll be a short one. Again, DMC colors, which is always delightful. And this is where a multi-placer would come in real handy because this is a massive sea of white. I see no bubbles or creases on this canvas, so that's good. But see that? This side is still rolling. This side is nice and flat now. That's why I don't like the clear cellophane covers. And one thing I have to, I have to stress, um, don't put your fingers in there. Uh, you, you're tempted, you want to see that it's sticky, trust me, it's sticky. Don't put your fingers in it. Because you loosen um, the holding power of the double-sided tape when you do that. So this is the feather. Uh, let's find that one. That should be this one. It's nice and small. Very colorful. Boy, are there a lot of white in here. Oh my goodness. And no, no multi-placer. Boy, I'm going to be kicking myself. That is not going to be fun at all. Okay, there are... 27 colors. 27 of them. Oh my god. And everything is checked off. So I'll do a quick inventory here.
Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, that takes care of the little feather. The little feather here. That is awesome. I have the hiccups, so excuse me. This is the last one. This is just the rooster. Standing all by himself. It's very, very pretty. Not sure which one I'm going to start on first. Here's another foam core. That's always appreciated. There's usually a lot less damage if they have a foam core. Okay, this is upside down. And there are wrinkles once again here. And boy, is that sticky. Um, if you have where it's really going all over the canvas, it can be real difficult to deal with. So, you can use washi tape to cover that. And that will keep the sticky down. Kind of see him there, but again, there's lots of wrinkles, so I don't know if they need to use a bigger foam core or a better handling method, because this one is going to require a lot of brayering to get the get it flat. And I actually keep working on it, I guess. This one has lots of bees. This one has 29 colors. And I did check off everything here. So hopefully there won't be any issues. 